Hello, hello, and welcome to a, another studio vlog slash a little bit of a day in the life. We'll see how it goes. So this morning I was in a rush because I'm actually leaving the house and I'm going to the hairdressers. As you can probably tell, I've just brushed my hair out and it's all a bit crazy. The ends are super dead. And that is like the remains of the blonde that I had in or like the gray that it turned out to be. So yeah, we're gonna get these split ends sorted and then mum's actually working for me today. So when I get back, mum should have already started. I'll set mum off on some tasks and then we've got a long old to-do list. I wrote it out last night and it's pretty hefty. So yeah, but I thought I'd just vlog and start the vlog in the car considering I'm always vlogging in my studio at the moment because I don't leave the house. So let's transform my hair. Next time you see me, I'll have a lovely blowout. And just like that, my hair is cut and curled and it's that clean, it doesn't want to behave. Does anyone else's hair do that? It looks and feels so much nicer. It's been like five months since I've had my hair cut, so yay if anyone needs the hair cutting in or around Doncaster I've said this for years but I highly highly recommend my hairdresser Rose I'll leave her Instagram in the description so you can see but I am going to go home now it is currently I think it's about half ten so I'm going to go back see what mum's up to and then I have a video to upload it's been a bit last minute this week so I've got to very quickly go and sort that video out I'm ready for tonight oh god I've got muck all over my coat <laughs> Oh. Okay, we're back in the office. I've tied the front of my hair up because I can't deal with like it in my face. And I have my hefty to-do list. So this is on my get shit done daily planner that I sell on my shop, if you didn't know. And you can see I've got a lot of things to do. One of which involves me shooting some content, which I think will be up on my Instagram by now. It's for the wilds, which is a new program on prime like a series and i was lucky enough to be asked to like be a part of a panel and watch the series early and let me tell you i've never watched a series so quickly it was so good and like really hooking and i just couldn't stop watching it so yeah i highly recommend that they're not paying me to mention it in this vlog but it definitely deserves a mention because if i'd have watched it like organically by myself i'd be telling you it's so good so i have a bit of content to shoot for that today but like I said, first task is to sort out my video and get that uploaded because I don't have much time before it's going to be 5pm and it needs to be up and subtitled ready to go. So let's go. Okay, so I am just uploading the video, my hair. <laughs> I've just had this on my head, so my hair's a bit crazy. You bet I'm gonna be wearing this in the garden in the summer. I actually love a visor. <laughs> just filmed the Wilds promo stuff, and the things in this bag are so cool and it's really fun and clever how amazon have made it relate back to the show like there's random stuff in it like a cake mix and packing uno cards and then there's like diet coke which is really key to the story so yeah i'm very happy to be working with prime video on this it's just very cool project they wanted like four story frames and a feed post i haven't taken the feed post yet i'm gonna go and get my mum to take a bit of me for that in a second but i film on this it's like a little mini tripod and then a phone holder you can kind of see you like adjust these and it like squishes your phone and i had it just rested where you are rested now and i filmed like that and then i've imported the footage onto my laptop into final cut pro and i've just chopped out bits because i think i had like four minutes of footage but four story frames is a minute so i've cut out the bits where i'm like talking nonsense and i've got it down to like a minute and five seconds so that's fine so it'll be five frames and then yeah i'm gonna go and take the photo now with mum i'm gonna attempt to pose with all this random collection of things hopefully the photo turned out okay you'll have seen it by now and then i will get on to the next task which is to design some new products 
we've decided to go on a trek to take a photo of me with the survival luggage for the feed post. It's very chilly though, don't really want to be walking. But here we are. Hopefully we get a good shot first time. Have I trained you well enough, mummy? Of course you have. We are actually getting better at it. We've come to a random patch of wood and I think we've got some good photos, so hopefully you liked the photos when you saw them. Okay, we have been back in the house for a couple of hours now, maybe? We got some good photos and I've edited them and they've already been approved. Now that is what I call a speedy approval. That's definitely the fastest ever. And I'm uploading them tonight because like it's all been a bit rushed. So I'm very happy that's all sorted and they like it. Sometimes brands want to tweak things or what you've created wasn't what they initially thought, but I got an instant yes. All I did was a little tiny spelling mistake in the captions, so I've changed that and I'm gonna post that at about half five. I find the best time to post is generally like between five and seven, but it's hit and miss. I mean, Instagram just likes to change their algorithm all the time. So I think I brought my notepad down. It's there, I'll get that and we'll tick that off the list. Oh, okay. I'm gonna treat myself later with Animal Crossing. <laughs> so I've shot and sent the wilds thing and I can tick all them off. I love ticking things off a to-do list, so satisfying. Well, I've had my lunch, priorities. Mum is currently, well, has been looking for products, haven't you? I have. Because I'm designing these new products and one of the most time-consuming parts other than the actual designing is finding suppliers. So she's been on a mission looking for these and I think we've found some, so that's good. I already have the notebooks designed. The postcards are like half designed and the planner is currently just in my brain so I need to do that and I also need to reply to these. We need to do a post letting people know that Sol and Fire won't be shipping over Christmas. We'll like restart work again Yeah. in January. So anything that's ordered, I'll tell you guys while I'm here, anything that's ordered between whatever date we're going to put on, we'll figure it out and 2nd of January or something, they'll be shipped as of like the 3rd of January so yeah don't order anything if you need it speedy because it ain't gonna arrive we want some time off don't we mummy we do and with all these new products it's looking like we're gonna have a busy busy new year which is exciting hopefully i can get them all sorted soon so i'm actually gonna now i've got a couple of emails to send but that's boring so i'm not gonna show you that and then I'm going to design the planner, I think. I'm thinking like a ring bound like notebook thing that's got lists on one side and then maybe like checklists on the other. I don't know. I've saved some like ideas on my phone, on Pinterest and all that. So I'm going to do that. I'll record my laptop screen so you can see it and I will check back in later. No doubt it'll be dark later because what is the time? Half two. And we know that it's dark by like half three. I know. It's getting dark. The lights are on. I don't like winter. I like winter, but this year's winter is even worse because we can't go and do anything fun. I'm sure you understand the struggle. All right, slight little change of plan. I am gonna head to go and collect some of the giveaway prizes because I've been told that there's more there waiting for me. If you didn't know, I'm sure you will by now, hopefully. How do I turn you on? Ta-da! Yeah, I have enlisted a bunch of small businesses to get involved with a big giveaway for when I hit 100,000 subscribers, which fingers crossed isn't too far away. And I've been sending them to like a separate address. So I keep going to collect them and apparently I've got a couple more there. So I'm gonna go and collect them and we'll, I'll give you a little preview of what they are. I have a whole stash of goodies from small businesses and they're all beautiful there are so many talented people around so i might show you a little sneak preview of those when i get home but i don't want to spoil it i'm going to save it for the giveaway so yeah if you want to be involved with the giveaway keep an eye out for that tell your pals about my channel and i'm going to go and collect those parcels now and i'm currently blocked in so i'm just going to wait here for a second and just talk to you
all right i think i think i've made some progress with these planners this light on my face isn't cute but yeah we've got some progress with these planners i had a couple of people ask me about doing a sort of daily planner style thing but in a book rather than having it like the tear off page that i've been showing you today that i keep using so i've decided to properly look into it although i've just sent these ideas to my mom and we haven't actually got a quote for a book that has inside printed pages as well we just did it where you print the front and back cover and then get regular lined pages but i want this to not just be a notebook i want it to have different pages as well so we need to go back to the drawing board and figure that one out but i thought i'd just do a little summary of what i got so far and hopefully it'll look okay i'm gonna print them out too and we'll see how it looks to scale when it's printed and i'll just print it on normal paper and we'll figure it out from there so the colors are not showing up on my camera correctly at all but I've gone with three colours. I'm not sure how viable it will be for me to get like three different designs because I don't know how much of a cost difference it would be basically. And if it's too much for me to pay out up front, I'd probably like just do the one colour and maybe I'll do a poll on Instagram, but we'll, we'll figure that one out. So I've gone with like a basic quote. I'm debating whether to put a different quote on each cover. I have this little layout here. So I've sort of combined a planner design that I've seen previously with my own daily planner that already exists which again i've been showing you today so i've got the day of the week and the date when you'd like circle the day write the date i was going to put like lines in the date section but some people write the date as like actually the month and some people use the numbers so i didn't want to sort of restrict people to that then i've got a schedule so i've got 6 a.m to 9 p.m tomorrow is something i pinched from my daily planner and then today's treat so the idea is once you get all your work done you treat yourself as i've said my treat today is animal crossing and then we've got a notes page so you could elaborate on different to-do lists and then doodles so that's the layout i've sort of gone with so far this could change and i'm gonna print this out and then i've also designed some smaller notebooks like a6 ones so i'm gonna print those out too and i'll show you those I'm doing a lot of time lapsing in this video but i have so far cut out these so these are going to be like little a6 notebooks and i've also put together this so this will be ring bound i think i might look into getting it is it saddle stitched i think when it's like flat like this depending on cost and stuff but I'm thinking that looks really good. I love the size of that. So I'm going to take this down to my mum in a sec. And then I've just printed off a couple of postcards that I've made. And also another little A6 notebook. And I'm attempting to chop them on my stupid guillotine. Which I shouldn't have bought really. I got it from Amazon. It was super cheap. And there's a reason why it was super cheap. It cuts things so wonky. Which is the one job a guillotine has. To cut things straight. So note to self don't cut corners don't be tight just pay the price because <laughs> now i am paying the price yeah i've just on test paper printed off some of these designs which i've done how cute and yeah i'm gonna go and take these downstairs to my mama and see what she thinks mom's opinion is always important isn't it <laughs> <laughs> What do you think? It'd be like each page, like the back of that page would be, would be that. that. Yeah. Oh, I definitely haven't looked for them. How well, am I gonna find them? Well, that's tomorrow's project. Oh. So that means that one's got to be blank. Yeah. Or it could be the notes, it don't really matter. 
Okay. It's me that designed it, you just need to get me a price. That's one of the postcards. I'll just test printing them because they had a bit of spare paper. And they're them ones that you said we could round the corners off. Oh yes, I liked those. What's going to be in there? I don't write anything, they can write something. Oh, they can, but they personalise them. Very good. Does it make sense now? Yes, I've just, that's a bit annoying. <laughs> I've done all that work today. All that work? We can still use the notebook idea for something else. I still need the prices of lined ring bound notebooks. Okay. Don't complain. That's what I pay you for. I mean, I don't pay you to complain. I pay you to get it done. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So besides the fact that we've been researching the wrong thing, partly my fault, actually it's all my fault, I should have remembered that I needed a customised inner page. Besides that, Mum likes the designs we've gone for, I'm really happy with them myself too. Let me know what you think, let me know if you'd purchase anything, if you'd change anything. But yeah, they're still work in progress, I just thought I'd show you how I make products, because a lot of the time I sort of keep them secret until the end, but I thought this time I could show you the process and build up some excitement if you are excited i mean i am <laughs> all right so that is i think that's a really productive day i've had i've got a lot done pretty much actually i think i have ticked off all of my to-do list i would go and tick it off for you now but that's downstairs so just trust that i've ticked that list off and i've took a lot of satisfaction in it i am now going to go and play animal crossing thanks for watching the video as always don't forget to subscribe for the 100k giveaway and i'll see you soon for the next video bye